Next, I wanted to highlight the nine categories that were added or renamed. And like I mentioned, um, that business environment was largely renamed to organizational context. So while it looks like it's a completely new thing that you haven't seen before, a lot of those concepts are there. Even risk management strategy, um, that one was really, it was in identify, so it was IDRM, now it's moved up to GVRM, and there were some nuanced changes there. So it shouldn't be too big, no big surprises there. One of the larger changes, or larger two changes, are the next two in Govern, though, uh, roles and responsibilities and policies and procedures. These were both concepts that were taken from other areas of the framework, largely identify again, and but then um, you know, expanded upon. Um, there were uh, subcategories around processes and roles and many other, uh, well, many of the other functions, um, really, and then they were kind of consolidated down into this governed function to streamline that and make it a little easier to understand. Additionally, we can see improvement and identify was added, and that was largely taken from respond and recover, each having their own improvement category, moving that up to identify, but then also broadening it to show that we need to have improvements across the board, not just in respond and recovery. So now that covers the entire life cycle of the framework. Um, we also have a couple other areas I wanted to highlight where platform security and technology infrastructure resilience. These are two new ones that are um, some of the larger changes, I think, really moving around a lot of the areas from information protection processes and procedures, protective technologies, um, and some of those different areas where they've moved it around and expanded a little bit on um, backups and, um, and some different things. So those are where you're going to want maybe want to take a look to see what those changes are. Um, again, nothing too groundbreaking, but some, some bigger changes in those areas. And then incident management, finally, the last one there um, was taken largely from response planning. And so we can see some of that alignment there. Um, I wanted to also highlight that many areas stayed the same or are very similar to the same. And here we can see the kind of the list of things that didn't have significant updates. There are a decent amount of wording changes and little nuanced updates, um, but we can see that there are a lot of categories that are, are largely the same from asset management uh, to awareness and training. There was some consolidation there. Data security, there was some uh, clarification in that one um, around when we get down to detection, the uh, event analysis and monitoring. So there, are, there is a, I don't want to make it sound like everything has changed and nothing, nothing is the same. Um, there are many areas that are, that have been tweaked a little bit, but are largely the same. And you can see those here. So I wanted to bring it all back together here to, to wrap up this overview. We can see everything in one picture. We're on the left with the CSF 1.1, everything in yellow is being uh, proposed to be taken out. Those categories will not exist anymore, but we can see if we follow the arrows over to the right, all of the categories in black or the dark gray color are the ones that are being added where a lot of those being are being moved into. Um, but but hopefully walking through that step by step will help to kind of see where those relationships are as we move from 1.1 to 2.0. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this was helpful to get a quick overview of what are the changes to the core that we can see. Um, I wanted to provide the link here to the discussion draft itself. There's a lot of information in there. So I know I'm going to be continuing to read through it over the next few days. But please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, if you have, if there's anything specific that you'd like to, uh, to learn more about. Um, also, uh, C Forum, there's a group uh, through LinkedIn that is, um, there's some conversation around the framework updates there that I'll put a link down in the video notes. So feel free to join the conversation there as well. So thank you for watching the video. Again, my name is Kelly Hood, and I look forward to the conversation.